To run a landscape photography business on YouTube, you need more than just a lot of subscribers. It's easy to get this wrong and just focus on the numbers. But in this video, I'll talk about the different audiences that are on YouTube and how you can identify and target your ideal customers. Hi, I'm Kim from landscape to art And if this is your first time here, make sure to click the subscribe button below. There are millions of people watching videos on YouTube every day and they all have different reasons to be there. YouTube is a search platform and, and, and many come there to, to get their problems solved. And some want to learn specific topics. Others are there only to kill time and, and, and use YouTube instead of Netflix. And as YouTube is a platform where it is possible to earn money, some are there for business. And if you're in the last category, the business category, it's important that you understand the dynamics and the different audiences and why they are on YouTube. In this video, I have divided the audiences on YouTube into two main groups, consumers and creators. So let's get started and look at the consumer group first. There are two subgroups in the consumer groups. And the first group I have called the dabblers. And this is the biggest group on YouTube. And if you're a dabbler, you're mostly on YouTube for pleasure, entertainment, and to get inspiration. You might even be there only to kill time. But most likely your intention was to learn something specific when you went there. But as YouTube is, is built, it, it will feed you with another video after you have watched the first one. And, and if you're this kind of person that just let you tear, go with the stream, you will click on the next video and, and you risk spending hours. And that's exactly what YouTube wants you to do. People on YouTube that are searching for landscape photography, they basically want to learn more, but they get sidetracked. Whatever your ambition was, you, you stay stuck and you, you never get things done. You always try to learn even more and you watch more and more videos. And you might even have a dream someday of someday being a famous photographer or, or run a business on YouTube. The dabblers, they want to be seen and heard. So they are actively commenting on videos on YouTube. But if you're a business owner, the dabblers are t a tough audience. They are likely reluctant to spend any money at all to learn. So they, they are looking for the next shiny object. So typically you see an increase in views when, when a video is about gear or, or something, something new to offer. And that's the dabblers. They are always jumping on to watch these videos. If you're a dabbler, you, 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 you're always looking to find an easy way to success. As a hustler or, or dabbler, you will try to figure out everything you, on your own. So you're just, you're spending your time instead of spending money to, to buy a product or something that could help you much faster to get to, to results. The second subgroup in the consumer group are the doers and they are totally opposite of, of the, the dabblers. As a doer, you are seriously interested in photography and you want to learn and you want to learn fast. The doer group is a smaller group than the dabblers. As a doer, you have a specific goal being on YouTube. You know exactly what to search for. You want to find answer to your specific questions and, and you understand the value of time. So you take action. So instead of watching the next video, you go out with your camera and, and learn what you, what you just saw in the video. And, and you understand there is no need to watch 10 videos explaining the exact same thing when you can go out and do and practice the thing you learned. And the doers, they are easy to spot. They, they show results instead of bragging about everything they, they, they know. So if you're new to photography and, and a doer, you will start with little or, or no knowledge at all. And, and in short time or, or even a few months, you, you will master the basic techniques. You take one step at a time and, and learn one skill at a time. Whereas the dabblers, they will stay stuck forever and see little progress in whatever they try to achieve. The next main group is the creators group. The creator group also have two subgroups. Uh, so the first subgroup in the creator are, they are making money from the YouTube platform. 
So they are making money from ad revenue from YouTube. That's the, ba the basic uh, business model. And this group is also, it's just a fraction of the consumer group. Most creators on YouTube have an intention of earning some money from it. But there are of course exceptions. Some, some photographers, they are just on YouTube as a create, they use YouTube as a creative outlet they, where they store their videos. And unfortunately, most people, they give up YouTube after a short time because they don't see any results. They forget that YouTube is a long-term strategy. And it's, it's more likely that you're, you started your YouTube channel with no vision or, or plan. You didn't have any particular strategy. You just started posting videos. And as, as you saw, this channel grew over time. You, you realized that there might be a business potential there that you can make money from ads. So now the goal is to get to the thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which is the requirement from YouTube to, to, to make you make money from ads. And later also you, you find that you can add links or, or make some additional income from affiliate links. This business model on YouTube is great because it can be a very attractive and prof profitable side income. You, you, you can do this without having to leave your day job. If making ads from, from YouTube is your business model, subscriber growth is the most essential and important. You need more views and you need a lot of subscribers to keep up with the ad revenue. So from a business point of view, you target both the dabbler and the doers groups and, and all traffic is equal because the big group of dabblers is very important. It's not important who they are any longer and as long as they watch your videos. And many landscape photographers with this business model later try to sell prints and that, that makes it difficult because they have attracted a big audience of photographers and, and also photography dabblers that are not interested in, in buying anything from you. But your, only, your chances to develop other products later is of course there because you have a significant audience on YouTube. So you might develop products and, and, and sell later on in your journey. The second subgroup of creators is the photographers using YouTube to, to sell their own products. And these products can be digital or physical products. The profit from selling your own products is much higher comparing to if, you, if your business model is to make income from, from ads on, on your videos. And you likely approach this as a business and you create the plan from the start. And this, this subgroup is also a small group relative to the consumer audience. But you have a clear idea of how, how you, who your customers are and which products you are going to sell them. And because you know your audience and product, you create targeted videos to attract relevant leads and customers. And these videos might not get as many views as, as the views from, from, from the dabblers, but every step is planned and you make money using YouTube as your marketing platform. Your ultimate goal with this is to make landscape photography a full-time job. A visitor to channels of these creators are, have no doubt about what they are offering when they, they see your channel. And as your channel grows, you, you can also start making money from ads, even though that's not your core business model. As you have seen, there are many different users on the YouTube platform. Each of them have different goals. If you want to make money on YouTube, it's important to understand this. You must specifically target people that are your ideal customers. You can't leave this to a chance. To learn more about how to get started with your own YouTube channel, watch this video next. And until next week, ha det bra, goodbye.